Uh, this is a little clip or a little movie that I've made about my um, two days that I spent with Michelle Reese in um, Melbourne. I was just walking along the street and uh, I walked past this cake shop and um, I had to film this. This was um, um, a cake display at the front, as you can see, it's, it's quite elaborate and um, just the, the quality of work that this um, cake shop offered and these are other little, little bits of sugar, sugar work that they offered as well for sale. Um, everything was edible obviously and um, I just sort of had to take the opportunity to film it because it was just quite quite amazing. It must have been a local competition as well. Although it didn't come out very well in the recording, um, I just went into the shop here, Simon Johnson's, and um, explained how I just saw a um, bottle of balsamic vinegar for $750 and two little tins of tea for $120, so it was quite, a, quite an expensive place. This is the guy who I spent the two days with, um, Michel Resp. Um, he has worked in many three Michelin star restaurants and um, had just finished working for Gordon Ramsay as his executive pastry chef. He would essentially go around all of Gordon's restaurants and train the staff in pastry because Gordon such, had such a high turnover of staff. Um, it's interesting, he wasn't all that sort of really impressed by the man. Here we're just um, showing you a te technique of um, actually making some chocolate curls and uh, in this case they'd use white chocolate and they just coloured it with a little bit of green food colouring and um, you'll notice in the background they're working the chocolate quite a bit to start the crystallisation process before they um, start to actually cut them and really you can only do that with good quality chocolate you can't do that with your, your, your compound chocolate that you buy uh, it doesn't tend to work and again it's on, on a marble bench um, it just makes the process a wee bit easier but for those of you out there who've always wondered how you make chocolate curls well here's a wee quick, um, wee quick clip on it the next little shot here is a really interesting technique I learned. Very simple. Um, you just take a knife and um, dip it in chocolate and we put it on acetate. Um, and this can go around the outside of a ghetto. Uh, it could also be curved and used to make um, flowers. What we've got here is the guy Paul and um, he's put some red cocoa butter um, that he's coloured onto um, a piece of acetate and then over the top he's put some white chocolate and um, he's just showing you how in a very quick and simple way you can make um, a coloured sheet of chocolate and um, cut it into various shapes um, you'll see on our final desserts we use this on a coconut and blueberry ghetto, uh, little ghetto um, very simple technique and um, this next little clip coming up I quite like you take the ends of the pastry and just give it a wee flick and that helps make it nice and smooth and even all over so there you see the effect. These are some little ghettos that we made. They were uh, milk chocolate and passion fruit and we're just and so, you know, a wee um, base there and we're just spraying them with um, chocolate which is actually um, melted down with cocoa butter and then we can spray it over the top. And again this is on another mousse here. This was a um, chocolate and calamansi mousse and again we're spraying it with the liquid chocolate um, all over and you can see the final result we put a little bit of red on top of uh, additional to the um, normal chocolate on this one so next clip these are some uh, you may recognize these these are little babas or, or savarans are sometimes called and that have been soaking and uh, I was quite surprised to see these on the course because you know sometimes they're deemed a little bit old-fashioned but as you'll see in the final clip they're very funky uh, I know it's not very clear in this clip here, but this was something that really took me by surprise. It's a mould and you place a disc of pastry over the top and bake it, and that's how you end up with a little tartlet shell. Here you can see we're just um, adding the garnishes to, this is a, um, a mousse that we made. And another technique where you set your chocolate and using a knife you can cut it out. This is the uh, chocolate calamansi mousse, uh, with a little bit of gold leaf on top. Uh, we also this is caramelised apple and honey mousse, and that's a chocolate cigar and chocolate wafer on top. Uh, he wasn't very happy with this at the caramel run a little bit, and uh, yeah, but anyhow, I thought it was fantastic. Again, uh, you'll see the little chocolate bars that we've got there, and we've got the wee gold template on top. Uh, we actually stenciled on top of that. And here's the final desserts. You can just see the quality of the the workmanship. It's all really in the garnish. Um, and you can see there's that little tartlet shell, paper thin and beautifully cooked all over, quite amazing. 